Good day everyone and once again we're back together and uh, of course I know that you wrote the uh, paper one very well uh, so I just thought uh, we'd just look into uh, uh, trigonometry all right so if you haven't subscribed please just make sure that you're part of the family all right and uh, let's dive into question 5.2 perhaps what I'll do is that I'll uh, obviously address the other questions um, in the next video but I wanted us to look at uh, simplifying without using a calculator and of course we're going to be applying some special angles all right now let's take 5.2 so we're given the sine of 120 Okay, so we've got uh, the sine of 120 cos of 210, uh, 10 of 315 uh, cos of 27, right, divided by the sine of 63 and the cos of 540. All right, so the first thing that we do in such an example um, we're going to, uh, first of all, try to relate some of the angles using special angles, right? And uh, remember, our special angles in this case, uh, that's going to be 30, 45, 60, as well as 90 degrees, okay? So, uh, sine of 120, so that would be 180 minus 60, right? Of course, we know that 180 minus 60 would give me 120, right? So I've changed absolutely nothing. And then uh, cos of 210, this would be the same as 180 plus 30. Okay, so as much as it's possible, I'm going to try and use uh, 180 and 360. Okay, uh, remember that once you change to 90 and 270, uh, we change to co-ratios, right? So now we've got 10 of 315 that would be the same as 360 minus 45 okay and of course now if you look at this cos of 27 you always need to look at the smallest angle that you have so in this case i'm going to leave this exactly as it is uh, because it's not part of our special angles right and in this case now i see we've got sine of 63 so it's not a special angle as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it, uh, um, in fact, I'm going to try and um, write it in the form of that small angle that we have there. Okay, so when I look at sine of 63, you'd agree with me that this would be the same as sine of 90 minus 27, right? 90 minus 27 does give me uh, 63. And the reason I'm changing it is so that it can look like that other angle there, right? So remember, you take the cue from the smallest angle that you have. That is not part of your special angles, right? So in this case, I'm going to have cos of 540. Uh, if you want to, uh, cos of 540, uh, that's quite big, right? So in this case, you can say, well, that's cos of uh, 540 minus 360. Now, remember, 360 is the repetition um, in this case. That's the, uh, you know, the, 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 the interval in which any repetition takes place. So as a result, you can either add 360 or subtract 360. Uh, you know, your angle still remains the same. All right. Now, let's, let's try and uh, use reduction formulae here so we're going to say sine of 180 minus 60 remember how is sine so we we use our, our cast diagram okay so 180 minus 60 remember 180 is over here minus 60 so that would be in the second quadrant right how is sine in the second quadrant sine would be positive so this would be sine of 60 okay and we've got cos of 180 plus 30 now, cos of 180 plus, that's in the third quadrant, right? So how is cos in the third quadrant? That would be negative. So this would be negative cos of 30 degrees, okay? And we've got uh, 10 of 360 minus 45, okay? We'll look at that. It's in the fourth quadrant. How is 10 in the fourth quadrant? It's also negative. So that would be uh, negative 10 of 45 and we've got cos of 27 as i did say i'm going to leave it in that format 
right all of that over now in this case we've got sine of 90 minus 27 now remember 90 minus so that would be in the first quadrant all of them are positive all of my ratios are positive there so in this case i'm going to say well uh, sine of 90 so that's that's going to be positive but remember when we use 90 we are going to change to our co-ratios right so in this case that's going to be uh, the cos remember the co-ratio of sine is cos okay uh, or the co-function uh, in this case of sine is cos so that's uh, cos of 27 okay and that would be cos of now uh, if we take uh, 540 uh, minus 360, in this case, that would give us 180, right? So, um, okay, let's verify that so that we make sure. Uh, so that's 540 minus 360, okay? Yes, definitely it is 180. So that's cos of 180, okay? Right, now let's uh, use our special angles in this case. Um, so we've got sine of 60 and remember uh, when we use special angles in this case uh, we, we always need to be mindful uh, what our special angles look like okay uh, if you haven't watched my longer video on this section and uh, please have a look at it so we've got 30 uh, we've got 45 okay so let me just remove this one okay so we've got 30 we've got 45 all right we've got 60 and we've got 90 okay which is that one over there all right and i said to you uh, the easiest thing and i don't know why i put it at the corner there okay uh, the easiest thing for you to do is just remember that you've got a circle with a radius of two right so in this case it means at this at this point my y value is two my x value is zero so you start with zero here and in this case just for you to remember it you just say square root of four which is two so um now let's start with the x it's going to be a zero that's square root of one square root of two square root of three uh, as i said uh yeah maybe let me just try and move it away from the corner here okay I was trying to get it as far away from the main thing that I'm doing. Okay, so in this case, as I said, okay, so there you are. Um, you've got a circle that has a radius of 2. Um, we have 0 degrees there. We've got 30 degrees there. We've got 45 and we've got 60 degrees and 90 degrees, right? Now, the easiest thing to get the coordinates there right i start i know that my uh, x here is maximum so that's two so that will be root four you say root three root two root one and of course root zero which is zero right and in this case i'm gonna do the same for my y remember that my uh, uh, the radius of my circle is 2 so it means my y value would be 2 there so that would be root 4 and uh, that's root 3 that's root 2 that's root 1 and of course that would be 0 so that's how you remember your special angles now remember the r value is always 2 right so your r value is always 2 the distance from the center there uh, to the circumference, the radius, right, would be 2. So it doesn't matter where you are, your radius still remains 2. Okay, right, so let's apply our special angles in this case. Um, right, so I've got a sine of 60. So if I go to my special angles, the sine of 60 in this case, and of course, you guys, uh, I, I know that you can cheat this by looking at your calculator, but I just wanted to show you how to apply it without using a calculator, right? Uh, so sine of 60. So remember that sine is y over r, okay? Uh, or you can say opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case, that's y, which is root 3, divided by r, which is 2. So sine of 60 is root 3 over 2 multiplied by 
negative cos of 30. So when I say cos of 30, remember that's x over r or adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's going to be x root 3 over 2 again. But remember, it's negative. So negative root 3 over 2. Okay, multiplied by negative 10 of 45. So 10 of 45, uh, I'm sure you guys would know that 10 of 45 is 1. Okay, but uh, remember, it's y over x. Why is it 1? Because my uh, y is root 2 and my x is root 2. So that would be minus root 2 over root 2. Okay, and so which gives us 1. Okay, and uh, multiplied by the cos of 27. Okay, right. So this is all divided by... Okay, sorry that uh, it looks a bit of a mess there. Okay, so that's root 2 over root 2. So this is all divided by the cos of 27, right? And cos of 180, right? Now, um, if you remember from your cos graph, you know that at 180, it's negative 1, right? Um, in this case, and uh, so that would be negative 1, okay? So uh, let's try and... Uh, simplify this as much as we can so you can see those cancel out there okay so i have got uh root three so remember this root two over root two gives us one as well so that's negative one so actually these negative one divided by negative one cancels and i've got root three over two multiplied by root three over two okay negative root three over two so uh, remember root three times root three will give me three Okay, and so my final answer, and sorry about uh, making it a little bit messy over there, okay, uh, because I wanted to show you uh, this application of the special angles. Right, if you haven't really understood uh, this, please go back to my um, playlist on uh, trick, okay, you'll see that I have involved special angles there, and also... Um, um, you know, the section on how to do reduction formulae. So our final answer would therefore be negative 3, 3 over 4, actually, sorry, uh, negative 3 over 4. Okay, thank you so much. All right, so I said I will tackle the other ones uh, in the next video so that it doesn't become long and, uh, you know, um, yeah, it ends up bo uh, boring you. Okay, right, sharp, sharp.